we've seen a lot of success stories in regards to loan modifications and, and reorganizing your personal debt. Um, like you were saying earlier, it's not so much a negative um, connotation. It shouldn't be taken that way. Bankruptcy can help a lot of debtors and homeowners, for example. Uh, if you are behind on your condo liens or your assessments with your condo association or your HOA and you own your home outright, that's pretty much the only lien you have on your property. Mm -hmm. A Chapter 13 bankruptcy will give you an opportunity to pay that lien off over three to five years without any interest. And the association doesn't really have a say in it. Um, it's under federal law, and that's what the bankruptcy courts and the code does um, to help it, debtors have a fresh start and save their homes. Some other success stories that we've had um, is there's a mediation program that's been implemented by the bankruptcy courts in Florida and we are seeing an 85% success rate in getting loans modified as opposed to 3% in state court. Um, just so you have a clarification on this issue, there, there's also mediation programs in state court, which is where your homes are foreclosed on initially in the county that the property is located. Um, one of the reasons why it's so much more successful in bankruptcy is because you have a trustee that's administering your estate you're making one monthly payment to this trustee and you're actually stopping the bleeding. Mm -hmm. you're, you're paying your 31% of your gross income to see if you qualify for a loan modification uh, under the Obama plan. And if you don't qualify for the Obama plan uh, based on your income, uh, they may be able to modify your loan based on an internal program that the bank has with its investors. Um, so a lot of the things that we're seeing is that we're able to get rid of credit card debt, modify loans, um, strip off second mortgages or uh, liens that are from your association or get caught up on those uh, assessments if you have to because of the value of your property. Uh, we actually have a case right now that we're uh, representing a homeowner and she was foreclosed on by her bank and her homeowners association at the same time. The bank actually modified her loan and they dismissed the case, but because the homeowners association had also been involved in the case, uh, they tried to reopen the case after two years, never served her with foreclosure papers, and they actually sold her property at auction.